Today, I am going to be playing 2K22 and rebuilding a team and winning a championship for a random team in 2K22 because I'm too broke to afford 2K23, so I haven't bought that shit yet. First off, what we got to do is we got to start up the league, regular season setup options. We're going to do it in a fantasy draft because if I don't, it'll probably be really unfair or like really fucking hard. So this makes every team fair. Next, I'm gonna do no injuries because I, I feel like those are a pain sometimes. And then no team chemistry because that's bullshit. I'm gonna look away. I have, I don't wanna like, yeah. Three, two, one. The Rockets. I swear to God, if I would've gotten the Spurs again, I would've been mad. I literally did the Spurs on the last one. Oh my fucking God, I could've had the first I could have literally had the first. I mean, shit, we got the 10th pick. The 10th pick ain't no first pick, though. Oh, my God. I swear to God, if they give me James Harden, I'm going to be mad. I'm still mad I could have had the first round pick. Oh, my Lord. 2K. Thank you, 2K. Ronnie, you're a blessing. Now, the rest of this team, you look too great. Brunson's not bad. Christian Wood's okay. Gordon Hayward needs to go. Ricky Rubio. Will he expiring? Okay, Ricky Rubio can stay. He's an expiring contract. Kobe White's not bad. This team actually doesn't look too, too bad. And Zion is going to be insane. First off, make that man untouchable. I'm thinking first trade I make is Gordon Hayward because I do not want that man on my team. Injuries are a thing, but still, I don't want to pay him 30 M's. Just too fucking much. I get Jamal Murray, who's better than Gordon Hayward, for being real here. And I like Jalen Brunson. He's a shooting guard, though. I don't want to give a Jalen Brunson for that. And Bernie Simons. We get rid of Isaiah Roby, who I'm not a huge fan of anyway. We get DeMarcus Cousins. I'm kind of liking this. I mean, what's his tendencies? Because his tendencies might be low. Yeah. Is it cheating to raise tendencies? I'm not going to make his tendency, like, 99. I'm just going to make it, like, 80 or something. Like, I don't want him to, like... There's no reason this man, Anthony Simon, should have a 55 tendency. He demanded on average 17 points per game last year to have a 55 shot tendency. I'm just saying that. Uh, I'm gonna take Anthony Simons because he's low-key a steal for Gordon Hayward. I think I'll keep Christian Wood on the team. He's not a bad center. And I mean, he can hit threes. I mean, if, I, if, if my center's taking threes, I want him to have at least a 30% three-point percentage because otherwise, I don't want you on the team, my boy. Now, at the point guard position, we do have Ricky Rubio. We've got Brandon. We have a lot of point guard play. Not really feeling at all. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna simulate the season. If we do bad, we do bad i just want zion the ball i really just want zion the ball and let me oh yeah let me raise simon's tendencies i'm raising his shot tendency to a 75 i think that's fair not nothing special but it's not like insane i mean even jalen brunson only has a 60 yo i'm raising that to an 80 the fact that marquise chris has a higher shot tendency is just fucking crazy how's our bench looking three point guards on the bench okay yeah uh-uh uh-uh gotta fix that at least have to fix that now we have a good center position power forward sucks man it's so ass i need a small board here man or a power forward Ooh, max stress though i'm taking max stress we're giving up a second round pick that is okay with me we got max stress on the team rajon rondo i need a power forward i don't care who it is is that inspiring it's inspiring we're also giving up a second round pick, which seems kind of like BS to me. Jesus, our starting small forward sucks. Okay, starting lineup, max stress. I think this is like a play-in team at best. System proficiency, damn, two and a half stars, awful. I hate seven seconds every time I do it. Honestly, I don't give a fuck, seven seconds, I'm rocking it. I'll see you guys when I guess the trade deadline. I might make some trades, I'm not sure. We'll do contract extensions and stuff, whatever. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. Ah trade deadline i'm not feeling the rockets well i'm not feeling you christian wood how about that huh get your ass out of here you're gonna trade it you fucking bum you fucking suck how much you stat what's your stats right now you, yeah you fucking you fucking okay you're not bad though you really ain't that bad but if you're not feeling us i'm not feeling you thought i was feeling you that boy is a munch he's eating he ate it for one i get jamal murray i feel like i should take jamal murray He's so expensive, though. That's my only problem. Not really. He's not bad for his level of point guard, I guess. We also get rid of Marquise Chris, who isn't even playing any minutes for us. Because we have uh, DeMarcus Cousins. He's actually doing pretty... Mm, what the f... 39%? Okay, you gotta... Oh. Holy moly. You suck. 
Uh, I'll do the trade. Oh, we have Anthony though. We have An I can't. I can't. I got Anthony Simons on the team. I can't do that shit. Oh, ooh, ooh. Jared Allen. Jared Allen. Jared fucking Allen. I'm gonna have to take that one. No cap. Oh, Jared Allen. Ooh, Chris Paul. I'm gonna take Jared Allen. Fuck it. Uh, we got rid of Demarcus Cousins, which was nice because that man sucked so much ass. Demarcus Cousins sucks too. So I'm going to trade him as well. I'll take anything. I will take anything. Seth Curry is actually a fucking baller, bro. I need a center. Someone give me a... S Ooh, Cody Zeller. He isn't shooting three-pointers. Oh my god, that's incredible. He's not shooting three-pointers. Ten points per game, seven and a half rebounds. This ain't that bad, but I wish you averaged more blocks. I don't really give a fuck, though. I'm going to take Cody Zeller, a.k.a. the GOAT. Uh, and then I'm also going to trade... Who was it again? It was... Oh yeah, Batum. I don't want Batum on the team. I want... Who do I need? How's Thaddeus doing? Pretty good, actually. He's actually doing really well. Maybe a power forward, if anything. I just don't want Nicholas Batum. Kenyon Martin... G Ooh. Hold on a minute. Those percentages catch my eye. Hair is messed up. Why don't you guys tell me my hair was messed up? Damn, I look fucking stupid. Seven points per game, three and a half rebounds, and assists. Those percentages are catching me, man. I'm falling in. Oh, and we get rid of Thaddeus. Hold on, this might be the deal. This might be the deal. We get rid of Thaddeus' fat-ass contract. Only thing is, though, is he's actually kind of open. Tyler Mays can suck my dick, man. I hate that, man. Nah, I'm not feeling Jay Crowder right now. That was oh, Ooh, Bojan. Hold on a minute. It is a contract take on, but that man is open. He is old though, which nothing wrong with being old, but my, my worry is that he'll drop. His overall will drop next season. Ah, ah. I'm gonna take Bojan, ah, bitch. We're good on point guard, we're good on shooting guard, we're good on small forward. I mean, shit, Josh Green and Max Struss are doing their thing. Max Struss is averaging 10 points per game right now, man. He's gonna be my backup small forward next year. Now, honestly, the one problem is, is that I don't really want Bojan coming off the bench. Oh, can I make Josh Green or something? Power forward. Oh my god, clutch, man. Josh Green is the clutch, man. Josh Green will be our backup power forward, and Bojan will be our backup small forward. That is perfect. I would say the team got better. All 80 starting lineup. And um, we were already 29-25, which currently puts us... We're the 8 seed. So I was right, we're gonna probably be a playing team and we're even better now. So maybe we make the sixth seed, not sure. But I know for a fact we're not winning the championship. That'll be next year when Zion becomes a fucking god next season. And B wins, Jesus Christ, that fucking picture is so pixely. Coach of the year, Doc Rivers. Doc, horny. We are the sixth seed. What the fuck did I say? Who is the master predictor? Fucking me. So the Spurs, which is the team we almost got, being carried by Giannis. Looks like they suck. Okay, well, they have Tyrese Halliburton. Jalen Green, for some reason, coming off the bench. And Mike Conley starting over Tyrese Halliburton. They win game one. Oh, my lord. Oh, holy fucking hell. Giannis is him. 60 and 20 with five blocks. Five blocks. Jay... Ah, uh, I thought it was him. Zion and Jalen Brunson are them. They are they slash them. Oh, God. Fucking hell, we lost. Jalen Green with the pop-off. Oh, it's so close. Jared Allen, I need you to do more than just fucking do what you're doing right now. 12 points for... Boy, if you don't get better in the playoffs, you fucking bitch. Bojan is not even doing good either. And Bernie, what the hell is this? 10 points for... What? Okay, nah, man. Get this man out of the starting lineup right now. Get him out of the starting lineup. I do not want this. Chrissy, wake up. Okay, even Ricky Rubio sucks. I'm starting Kobe White, and I'm putting Anferny and Ricky Rubio on the bench. Even Cody Zeller sucks. Oh my god, our bench is ass. Josh Green is getting the sixth man. Oh my god, our whole bench is ass, man. Max Struss with a shitty three-point percentage. Damn, I thought I made the right moves. Kobe White with the pop-off game, it did not matter. Giannis with the 43. I didn't stop it in time. We took them to seven games. What the hell happened? Game six, Zion and Anferny popped off for 25, even though Anferny was on the bench. We got our ass, Wait, no, we won this game, sorry. We lost by one point. Lost by one fucking point, ain't no fucking way. We could've eased, I told you they sucked. I told, yeah, we're winning the chip next year. No doubt, no fucking doubt we're winning the chip next year. On God. On God, we're winning next year. I don't even care. I don't care, man. I don't care. That's that's just motivation for me, man. That's just motivation.
my nose is so fucking itchy. Sorry if I'm I'm picking my nose, man. It's so itchy. I'm sorry. Um, Rocky will be at the 22nd pick. Any uh picks? Oh my lord, no fucking way. We have the fifth pick. I just finessed. Get fucking finessed, Miami. Get fucking finessed, bitch. Boom, boom, boom. Holy moly, I'm the finesse god. I am Bruno Mars and Cardi B merged into one. Okay, well, hold on. This guy is projected to go number six. Oh, number three. All NBA. The ceiling of Draymond? I would love a Draymond, I'm not gonna lie. I would love a Draymond. Um, fuck it. Oh, we have Zion! No! This man was projected to go number eight by DE, number four by 2K, number five. No. This man was projected to go top 10 everywhere, and nobody took him? I'm snagging him. He's a 77, and he's gonna be in the EuroLeague. By the next year, he'll be an 80 plus. Guarantee it. I put fucking money on it right now. Shake on it. Shake on it. He'll be an 80 next year. You don't wanna shake on it? Fine. Be that way. Be that way. He'll be an 80 next year. Watch. Romeo Langford is a god. Why? I put him in the G League for a reason. Oh, he's upset. But we do have contract space, I assume. No, we don't have contract space. The fuck? Made him 9 mil. Who's a big ass contract on our team? Oh my god, yeah, Bogdan. We trade Bogdan's bitch ass. It's the right move. I mean, Sadiq Bay. It's. Ah, uh, Sadiq Bay, man. The percentages are good. What's his tendency? What's his tendency? What's his tendency? 55? Hell nah, man. I'm raising that shit when I get you on here. Oh no, I'm not getting rid of my rookie though. Hell no, I'm not getting rid of him. He'll be better than your bitch ass eventually. Lou Dort was hooping. Romeo Langford. We, we need to get rid of him. So this actually helps us. I don't want Jay Crowder though, but I could probably trade him away for like two first round picks. It's free agency. Oh, that's the deal. No, 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 no. This is the deal. Lou Dort, welcome to the team. You a defensive god. Jay Crowder is getting traded, man. I fucking know. Are the Grizzlies good? Oh my god, the Grizzlies suck. Now nah, give me that Grizzly pick. Give me that Grizzly pick right now. Give me that Grizzly pick. Hell yes, I'm getting Kyrie. We're now 19 mil, so we can get Kyrie. He wants 40 M's. Jesus damn, Kyrie. Crazy, man. Or we sign Ann Fernie to half that price. How are we looking right now in the point guard position? We've got nobody. Okay. I do want to bring Jalen Brunson back. I don't know how much money he's going to want. 18 M's? Brunson, what'd you do last year? 16 points. Okay, he was hooping. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are we feeling on a small forward position right now? Oh, yeah. We're set. Ludor and Max Stress is all I need. Power forward, we have Zion, and we have Brent Rose, and we have Josh Green. Who Josh Green was kind of mid. Josh Green's getting traded. <laughs> we thought he was safe, boy. I could get Seth Curry at the shooting. I don't want to give a pick. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Jakob Polo, is he better than Cody Zeller? That's a good question to ask. I think I can answer that question. No. Yakapoto is not him. Cody Zeller is him. Oh my lord. Two first. Give me those picks. Do we go for Kyrie or do we go for Anthony Simons? It's a great question to ask. Here's what I'm thinking, right? If we save cap space until next year, if we're able to sign 40 M's with Kyrie Irving, we should definitely be able to get big money with a player next year like Jokic. Nikola Jokic would fuck shit up. We, we either take Kyrie and take our chances now, right? I mean, Kyrie's a god. Look at these, I mean, his inside defense sucks. But besides the inside defense and the rebounding, uh, he's so good, man. We could take Levine and then say, fuck you, Jalen Brunson, and then get Anthony Simons. Or even then we can say, fuck you, Anthony Simons, get Jalen Brunson, and then make Brunson a point guard. I don't know if that works, but we could do that as well. I want Kyrie though, man. I haven't had Kyrie on my team in forever. He has no good offers. This is our one chance. I'm getting him. And then I'm also going to offer Brunson. We're going to give him a flat deal though. Uh, I think a good 16 M's a year is good, in my opinion. He loves that deal. Kyrie Irving is a Houston Rocket. Uh, we just need a point guard now, which I'm assuming we don't have much tar. We don't have much cap space. We still got cap space, baby. Ricky Rubio, come back to the team, baby. Yeah, I want Rajon Rondo. You better come back. You better bring your bitch ass back right now. Ricky Rubio is back on the team. Point guard is set. Shooting guard is set. Small forward is set. Power forward is set. Center is set. I don't know about you guys, but to me, this team is a championship team. So starting lineup, we've got Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brunson, Lou Dort, Zion Williamson, Jared Allen. I don't know about you, but that's a godly starting lineup. A godly starting lineup. 
Uh, off the bench, Kobe White, Cody Zeller, Ricky Rubio, Brent Rose, Max Struss. I'm thinking Zion first option. Um, I want Zion driving in. Curry second option, and then I'm thinking Jer Jalen Brunson third option. Jared Allen's good, but Jalen Brunson's more of a scorer than him. So yeah, Jalen Brunson third option. That's cool with me. Seven seconds is a four star. Worked well for us last year. So we're going to run with it again. I may have underestim been underestimating seven seconds this whole time. Kyrie Irving is Steve Nash. Zion Williamson is Amari Stoudemire. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. 45 and 11, baby. We are popping right now. Definitely was the right move to make Kyrie the second option. Kyrie's got amazing- uh, Zion and Kyrie both have amazing percentages, though. I was- I'm so happy I got Kyrie. First off, I want to see if I can get a better backup center over Cody Zeller. Uh, he, no, he's doing good. We'll keep him. I want to get a better backup point guard. Cameron Payne. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's better. Karoo Goat? Might have to get- nah, he's too expensive. Never mind. DeLon Wright's not bad. I might go for DeLon Wright. No cap. Teo Maladon? Sucks. Yeah, I think I know who I'm going for. I'm going for, um, DeLon Wright. We're giving up a second round pick. That's okay with me. I frankly don't care too much. DeLon Wright is the new backup point guard on the team. Welcome to the team, DeLon Wright. Um, we won 71 games. I kid you not, since the trade deadline, we did not lose a single game. We are literally the third best team in NBA history. If we don't win this championship, that's sad. Um, Minnesota Timberwolves have Miles Turner and Shea Gilgis Alexander. The rest of them suck. That's a sweep. Pull the fucking brooms out. You used, used to, to call, call me on my, my cell phone. phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Mavericks. Steph Curry. Mikel Bridges, Julius Randle. They're probably a better team defensively than we are. Offensively? No. Swept. You used to call me on your cell phone. Dun, dun, dun. Late night when you need. Denver Nuggets, the two seed. Lamelo, Ball, and Rudy Gobert. You know they're throwing a lot of lobs to each other. But they ain't. Kyrie, oh my god, maybe they are Kyrie and Zion. Hold up, what the fuck happened? Peyton Pritchard, it's not even LaMelo Ball. Okay, yeah, he's averaging 28 points per game. Do we have any good defenders? Lou Dort, Lou Dort is clutch. Lou Dort is gonna be guarding LaMelo. Nah, nah, no fucking way. I need to change the setting. Okay, hold, nah, uh-uh. I'm not losing, a, no. Yeah, I'm gonna run a seven, man. It's risky. But I'm doing it. I think we need it. Kyrie and Zion are getting so many minutes. It's probably one, maybe two games. I'm gonna... We got our ass kicked. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I thought we were the Nuggets. And I thought... I was about to say, like, oh my god, we're kicking ass. I thought we were winning the whole time, and I, I I think I was smiling as we were getting our ass kicked, thinking we were the Nuggets, and we got fucking blown out. Lamelo Ball is him. Zion played like shit. Probably was tired as hell. I don't blame him, though. Nah, Jared Allen was. The 71 and 11 win team loses in the conference finals after sweeping the first two rounds. And then the finals is the easiest thing ever because the seven seed Atlanta fucking Hawks are in there. How the fuck did they get in there? It's Katie. Katie literally carried the Hawks to the finals. We would have blown this fucking team out the water. If more for those dumbass Lamelo Ball nuggets. I'm gonna fucking eat Lamelo Ball's nuggets. What? Fucking dickhead. Oh my god. We literally have the second, third, and tenth highest odds at the number one pick. Am I not a fucking god or something? Holy shit! Not only do we just go with 71 and 11 wins as one of the greatest teams of all time, not the one of, okay? Not only we got the first pick in the fucking draft, the fifth pick, and the sixth pick. Who did I- I traded Brooklyn. Now nah, give me that Grizzly pick. Give me that Grizzly pick right now. Give me that Grizzly pick. Hell yes, I'm getting Kyrie. Oh my lord. Two first- give me those picks. But wow, we need Stephen Silas back. I'm sorry. I need him back. What's that one TikTok sound? I need you. I, need... I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna shut up. Yeah, Stephen Silas is back. Good shit. If we don't win the championship this year, man, I really am gonna be pissed. So it looks like the top guy here, he's an 83 overall. He's only got an all-star ceiling, though. 
I don't know, this, this draft seems kind of mid. It doesn't seem like there's one player that's, like, amazing. Because, like, every single player has a, okay, well, here's this Felix guy with no significant weaknesses. I don't know if we'll be able to snag him by the fifth pick. But I'm going to take this Fabrico, and then hopefully we can get Felix by the fifth pick. Oh, y'all fucked up. Who did we just take? So we took a center with the first pick, and then a shooting guard with the fifth pick. A small forward then. Which here's Luther Simons with the ceiling of Metal World Peace. And I don't know who I'm feeling. Not the best two point shooter for passing fundamentals. Below average finisher. Doesn't sound good to me. So ability to steal. It's, it's not a good distributor. Makes very poor decisions when distributing the ball. I get it. He's a bad distributor. Okay. I'm going to take Sheldon Murray. Bad distributor. I don't give a fuck. We're probably the most lucky team in existence. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Wow. Ron Childress. 76 overall second round pick. Oh, Zion's a free agent. Kobe White, I think I'm going to let walk. Considering who we just drafted. I'm gonna let Kobe White walk. Uh, we're definitely getting Zion back, no doubt. He's got a great deal from the Jazz, but guess who has a better deal? He actually likes the Jazz's deal more than mine. That is so disrespectful. Anyway, at point guard, we have Kyrie and DeLon Wright still. At shooting guard, we now have Andrea Cantalina and Felix Rivera. I think what I'll do is I'll trade DeLon Wright and then maybe make one of you point guard. Preferably Felix if he can play it, which he can. So Felix will be my backup point guard this year, and then DeLon Wright is going to get traded. DeLon Wright's getting traded, getting rid of that like $6 million almost contract yeah thank you kings maybe a valuable pick in the future our small board we need lou dort definitely sheldon murray is a guy we drafted so he'll be our backup max struss was so good though and then at power forward we have bread rose and ron childress and then at center we have jared allen and fabrico so let me go grab zion at least and then let me see if i can get lou dort as well 13 m's uh, ah, he's worth it. He's fucking worth it, man. <laughs> Damn, paying that man so much money. I could've got way less, too. Yeah, we're matching with Zion. So get rid of Kobe White. I don't want to get rid of Cody Zeller. I mean, Max Struss, but I might have to. Damn, I gotta say goodbye to Max Struss. He's so good. He's so good. All right, Zion's on the team. This team is looking promising. I may trade Ron Childress just for like a pick or something because he doesn't fit on the team and I'm completely okay with getting rid of him. Here's some Knicks picks. Are the Knicks good? Trey Young and Cade Cunningham, yes, they're good. They're very good. The Lakers good? Tatum, Porzingis, they're okay. Oh yeah, the Hawks? I have a feeling they're not going to be as good as they were last year. So we'll take the Hawks pick. This team is looking honestly better than it was last year. I mean, I don't think we'll win 71 games. There's a chance. I don't think we'll win 71 games, though. Andrea Catanella is an 83. Looks like he'll be starting this year. Lou Dort did drop in overall, but his stats improved, so I don't really care about his overall dropping. All right, so looking at the coach game plan, we got Kyrie Irving, Andrea Catanella, Lou Dort, Zion and Jared Allen off the bench Jalen Brunson actually if I can I'm gonna move Lou Dort to shooting guard and he'll be my backup shooting guard what's gonna happen is is I'm gonna have Andrea play small forward because he is six foot five and he actually gets better at small forward than he does at point guard which is his backup position and he's actually better at small forward than he is at shooting guard which is going to be his new backup position. So Andrea will start, and then it will also allow Jalen Brunson to start. So we'll have hopefully an even better lineup. A starting lineup, I should say. Our team is still the same. So we now have an all-80 cracked-ass lineup. Fabrico Guzman, Brent Rose, Lou Dort, Felix Rivera, and then Sheldon Murphy. Murray, sorry. Zion, Kyrie, and then third option will probably be Andrea. Seven seconds, I think I'm going to keep it on that because, I mean, we won 71 games with it. And I will see you guys at the trade deadline. Definitely picked it up during the second half of the season. We're 43-11 and 11 at the trade deadline, uh, which it came a little earlier. Last year, we were 45-11, and 11, which is kind of ironic. Yeah, everyone's happy. I'm fucking happy. I like how Jaren Allen's upset that he's not a part of the... He wants to be a larger part of the game plan, except he's getting the third most minutes on the team. Yeah, Catanella is a god. I'm happy I made it my third option. Even Jalen Brunson is doing great, though, but pick up that free throw percentage and you're going to be a 50-40-90 guy. Yeah, we only won 65 games this year. So, I mean, still, 65 and 17 is still great, but it's not 71 and 11. Our defense is better this year. Our offense is a 99, defense is an 89. So I don't know how the hell we didn't win 71 games with a better defense, but whatever. The first team is against the Lakers, which I almost traded them for their picks, but I said no because I knew they were a decent team. 
basically being carried by Jason Tatum and Chris Porzingis. I think this should be a pretty easy win for us, and we sweep them. Next against the OKC Thunder, Jalen Brown, Michael Porter Jr., and Bam Adebayo. They got a big three going with Davion Mitchell and mixed in there. Pretty actually decent looking team. And the Spurs beat the Denver Nuggets. Holy shit. Jalen Green, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Tyrese Halliburton. Yeah, I never really thought about the fact that when we played the Spurs last time in the first year when they were the three seed, Tyrese Halliburton and Jalen Green are like really young, so they didn't prove a lot. So they're a good team. Yeah, they win game one. That's not good at all. They also have um, Alan Best, who just dropped 29. That definitely helped towards their win. But we, get, we win game two and three. Kyrie with a 30 bomb. Zion not doing so great. And then game three, Kyrie and Zion both do good. Game four, we lose. Uh, Zion and Kyrie popped off. It, wasn't ma it didn't matter, though. 76ers are in the finals again. I think they won last year, didn't they? I think they won last year. No, the Nuggets won last year, my bad. They won the first season. I feared they were going to win game six. Okay, hold on. Andrea is not playing that amazing in the playoffs, which is unfortunate. Brett Rose is doing good. Lou Dort's doing good. Sheldon has a great three-point percentage. Probably not taking that many. Yep, he's six for three. Six for four, I mean. We're going to get rid of Sheldon's minutes and then give them to people like Zion. This is important because if we fucking lose, we're out. Um... Okay, good. We are in the finals, finally, against the 76ers with Ben Simmons and B, that's kind of ironic, and Wendell Carter Jr., Herb Jones, Bruce Brown. I mean, their team ain't bad, but if I'm being honest, the, the, the Spurs team is better. Maybe I'm wrong. They won game one, took to overtime, and they kicked our ass in overtime. And beat is him. We win game two. Zion with a 40-point triple-double and Kyrie with a 20-point double-double. Holy hell. They win game three. Ben Simmons getting 22, 9, and 9. And beat with 21 and 10. Okay, we win game four. Zion and Kyrie. Brent Rose with the game. We need to win this. This is a crucial... Yes! Holy shit, Andrea with a 20-pointer. We kicked their ass. Simmons and Embiid carried hard that game. This is, come on, potentially could be the final game of the whole year. We need to win this. We are NBA champions! Let's go! We should have won it last year, but anyways, we won! Zion Williamson wins the finals MVP. Kyrie Irving was the right move. I can tell you that much. Kyrie Irving, Zion Williamson, Jared Allen, Andrea Catanelli, Catanella, fuck. These guys, you know, they, they all did their thing. Robert Covington's on the team. What the fuck? If it wasn't for these guys up here that actually played minutes, I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Good fucking job, guys. That's gonna be all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my my league rebuilding thing and if y'all like it i'll do more and when i get 2k23 if i get it on pc i'll record my league videos and stuff too i'll see you guys later peace Bitch wanna pull up on the team in a new limousine Fuck you want, little mama I don't fuck with the drama Take a trip to the Bahama Now we ride on a Bitch wanna pull up on the team in a new limousine Fuck you want, little mama I don't fuck with the drama Take a trip to the Bahama Now we ride on a